In this video, I'm going to be talking about everything you could possibly need starting out in BJJ. I'm going to go through the whole list, go through each product one by one, show you absolutely everything you could possibly need. And at the end, I'm going to put together a short montage of people training in BJJ. Hi, my name is Doug Swift. I've been doing martial arts for the past 34 years and I've been the owner of Enzo Martial Arts for the past 17 years. If you like this video, click the little icon down below, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos on all of the products here at Enzo Martial Arts. So let's get into this video and learn all about what you need starting out in BJJ. Now it's worth saying right at the beginning that most BJJ classes will allow you just to turn up without any kit at all. But there are still some things that will be really useful to have with you for your first class without really spending any money at all. The first thing that you probably want to have is a water bottle. So definitely need your own water bottle. Not all the places you're going to train at are going to have drinking fountains. So definitely take a water bottle with you. You'll definitely need it for your first class. The other thing that you definitely should think about is some sort of loose clothing. If you don't want to buy a gi, and I'll talk about that in a little bit, definitely turn up in some sort of loose clothing like jogging bottoms and a t-shirt something you're not that precious about you don't mind people pulling it and yanking it around sweating in it rolling all over the floor and do try and make sure that there's no metal and no zips no buttons things like that stuff that's just gonna hurt you or someone else if it kind of gets rubbed on them nice loose clothing is definitely a good way to start without spending any money but that's not really what the video is about it's talking about all the kit you could possibly need so definitely the first thing that you want to get yourself is a BJJ gi. So at Enzo Martial Arts we do two different brands of BJJ gi. The first being Tatami, a massive brand like Tatami is sort of known the world over within the BJJ world. And for those gis we do the Blue Nova gi. By far a most popular gi, really nice colours, people absolutely love this Nova gi, great entry level gi from Tatami. Now we do this in the blue, white and black. Now there's no problem with wearing any colours from the start in BJJ, they don't seem to mind at all. Some other sort of more of the traditional martial arts styles might get a bit funny with different colour gis, but in BJJ you can pretty much wear whatever you like. So with tatami gis we do also sell the original as well. Now tatami stock can be pretty fluid so at the moment we don't have any of those in. It does happen and we sometimes your notes on the website interchange between the originals and the Novas depending on what they've got in stock. So check out the website because the stock does change all the time. But we do our absolute best to keep the Novas and the Originals in the shop as much as we can. As well as the Tatami Gis, we also sell the Scramble Gis. Now, Scramble, different brand to Tatami, but again, very, very popular. It's really nice having both of them here at Enzo Martial Arts. And we do this in the white and the black. So if you want something a little bit different from the standard Tatami Gis that most people will be training with these days, definitely have a look at the scramble really really nice keys really nice and solid very durable and very plain as you can see sort of very little kind of uh, in the way of patches etc etc now a few little tips with gears that's worth knowing if you're training quite regularly it's definitely you really want to be washing your gi after every session you don't want sort of that bacteria festering in your gi and then rubbing it onto other people so if you're training quite regularly you need to be able to wash your gi after every session and if you can't dry it in time for the next session it's definitely worth getting one or two so you can play around with different colors and different brands different styles that those companies are producing so it's definitely worth at some point checking out the scramble just for a bit of variety. Now the next thing that you'll definitely need for BJJ is a belt. At Enzo Martial Arts we sell all the tatami belts in all of the colours. White, blue, purple, brown and black. All of the belts that you'll need. But obviously if you're starting out, a white will do. All of the Novas that we sell at Enzo Martial Arts come with a belt. But the tatami originals don't and the scrambles don't. So if you're choosing to get one of those gis, you need to get a white belt as well. So that's the gi and the belt covered. Is there anything else you need? Well, it's definitely worth getting yourself a rash guard. Now, rash guards, 
sort of come from surfing originally, but they're really, really good in BJJ to stop yourself getting rashes. Now, all the kind of rubbing of the geese, or especially around on your neck and on your chest and everything, can get really, really sore. And, you know, if your skin gets sore enough, it might put you off training. Also, you know, with everyone sort of sweating and rubbing on each other, you can get, you can get infections pretty quick. So a rash guard really, really helps protect the skin, much more comfortable. Also, help wick away sweat from you to keep you nice and cool. Now, to time we do, these short sleeves, they also do. The long sleeve, if you want to protect your arms a little bit more. We also have scramble stuff for this. So we do white and black scramble gear. Check out all of the rashes we have on the website, enzomartialarts.com. Now, it's not just the top half can get sore from rashes. You can also get yourself a pair of spats. Obviously, you notice them the most in no gi, but they're really, really good underneath your gi. Again, helping you keep cool helping like protect a layer between this relatively rough gi and your skin. So really, really good if you've got the money to get yourself a pair of spats as well. Now, in the old days, in the sort of early, early days of BJJ and MMA, VT shorts were really, really popular. We do these as well at Enzo Martial Arts. They kind of went out of fashion for about a decade and they've now come back in very, very popular. So short sleeve rashes and VT shirts, seems to be popular, long sleeve and spats, very, very popular. Again, pick and choose how you want to do it. It might depend on what people are wearing at the club, but if you're not sure, you know, get the whole lot. It's definitely gonna be useful at some point. Now, not strictly necessary for BJJ specifically, but if you are doing the no-gi part of BJJ, it's definitely worth thinking about some shorts as well to go over the spats or over your VT shorts. Definitely very, very useful. And they also double up as good kind of training shorts, gym shorts, if you want to go for a run, etc. Really nice, tough, solid tatami shorts. We also do them with scramble. We've got the gray and the black. Really nice, good looking shorts with scramble. So you get a really good choice here with us. Like I said, check out the website for everything that we've got. Now there's two, I think, essential items in BJJ training that you absolutely have to get. They're pretty inexpensive and people will always make excuses as to why they do not need them. The first one of these is definitely a really good gum shield. Now people are, oh, I don't need any of that. It's only rolling around on the floor, I don't need that. And then someone conks you with their elbow or accidentally headbutts you or just rolls on you and your mouth's bleeding, your tongue's split, all the rest of it. So it's just not worth it. They're not that expensive, especially compared to sort of the geese and the rash guards. It's not a lot to spend. Definitely get yourself a gum shield. The other item is groin guards. Now people, again, put off getting a groin guard and then as soon as you get kicked in between the legs, you will not make any more excuses and go and get yourself one. We sell the elasticated kind of jock strap style with the removable cup. Really good, nice and cheap, very popular BJJ guys. And then something way more popular in recent years is the compression shorts. I guess they kind of double up like VT shorts, but with the cup in there. Really good item, a little bit dearer, but definitely keeps the cup exactly where it's meant to be. So there's no kind of wanderings of anything and gives you lots and lots of protection. Don't make the excuses, just get one. You will thank me for it. Now, one little top tip that most people would not know before starting BJJ, and definitely you'll find out over the first few weeks, is that most changing rooms aren't anywhere near the mats that you're going to be training on. So you get changed into your gear, you're barefoot, and then you've got to walk onto the mat, and you end up with grubby shoes picking up all kinds of nonsense, and then you've got to walk on the mat and then clean your feet, and it's a difficult problem. So most people will have some kind of footwear that they can shuffle around in. Sliders, flip-flops, something like that. At Enzo Martial Arts, we've got the traditional version, the Zori sandals. Now you see these a lot more in like Judo, Jiu-Jitsu, like Japanese Jiu-Jitsu, Aikido, but they definitely stand out from the crowd in a BJJ class. But like I said, flip-flops, sliders will be absolutely perfect as well. Now dishing out more top tips, over the time BJJ your fingers are going to get sore, the skin's going to get rough and cracked and you know worn out, you're going to get it a little bit with your toes as well. So it's definitely worth investing in some finger tape or zinc oxide tape. We sell this at Enzo Martial Arts, it's pretty inexpensive so it's well worth chucking in your basket 
with everything else. Now that's pretty much everything on the list that you will need for BJJ, but it's worth thinking a few other things as well. We do do knee pads, elbow pads. You know, you don't need them, it's not standard, but if you're someone that does sort of land badly or tends to get really sore knees and elbows, it's definitely worth considering. Also, if you want to go against the cauliflower, flower ear kind of trend and buck the trend and not have those kind of horrendous looking ears then definitely a pair of ear protectors is worth thinking about as well but that is definitely the full list here at Enzo Martial Arts so first things first water bottle get yourself a gi belt rash guard spats shorts and then you're gonna definitely definitely think about getting yourself a gum shield a groin guard and some flip-flops or sandals to go on your feet. And that is definitely the whole list of everything you need for a BJJ class. So we've covered absolutely everything you would need if you're going to a BJJ class. But we do have other things here as well at Enzo Martial Arts. And a lot of BJJ people will also cross over and do a bit of MMA training. So I'll show you a few things we've got related to MMA and other related styles. So as well as all of the BJJ kit that I've shown you, we also have sparring and pro MMA gloves, a whole selection of boxing gloves for Thai boxing and boxing. Huge selection of Thai boxing shorts, including Fairtex, and skipping ropes and focus pads and punch bags. So if you're interested in all that stuff, check us out at enzomartialarts.com. As promised at the beginning of the video, here is a short montage of people training in BJJ. Thanks very much for watching, I hope it was useful, I hope you learned loads about everything you need if you're going to start out in BJJ. If you found this video useful, click the little icon down below, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos from us at Enzo Martial Arts. Thanks very much and I'll see you soon. Cheers!